Hi friends, welcome. Thank you, Dozy. Isn't she good? What's best is I can program her. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build, program, and how to control the Dozy using the Gmu app. We'll start with unboxing Dozy. Let's unbox the Trekbot Gmo kit. It has very nice packing and the contents of what inside at the back of the box. It comes with one user manual, some 410 snap together parts, and look, they're all color coded. Some tires, the main control part, and some ultrasonic sensors, and the servo motor. Servo means they can be controlled and turned to any angle. Let's get building! First, we need to open our Gmo app and then click on this icon to choose your robot. I'm choosing Dozerbot. And then, click on build and it will show you totally 3D instructions on how to build it. The instructions are very clear. For example, it tells us to use motor ID02. After that, let's go to the next step. If you want to see which part of the model will build, then you just click on this. Thanks to the instructions, my dog's bot is complete. There's two ways you can control it. One, by your phone or tablet, or you can code it. I'll show you both. On the home screen, click on controls and you have some predefined actions. My favorite is boxing. These sliders control where it goes. If you want to perform actions like digging, then click go on the home page, then click on action. Then you can find the dig place or whatever you want and click on it. For example, I'm going to use dig to pick up these two rocks. There are lots of actions in this list. Explore and have fun! Control the robot is by coding. Ubertech's Gmo truck box kit can be programmed using Blockly language in the Gmo app. Click on the coding tile to start coding. On the left side of the screen, you have all blocks available for coding. There are even blocks to trigger your code when an action takes place. For example, there's an event to trigger your code when ultrasonic sensor detects obstacles. A control block to repeat instructions or to define conditions. Sensor section has blocks to get data from the sensors, like distance from obstacles. Note, there's only one sensor included in the box, the ultrasonic sensor. You can create your own variables and functions for your program. To write your program, click on any box to place it in the coding area. You can drag and drop it to the spot in your program. Gmo app also has some predefined programs available to get you started. Don't worry if you don't know coding. There are some nice tutorials available. I love my Dozen, the Ubertex Gmo robot, and I'm sure you'll love it too. It's a fun way to play and learn. If you like